Hey. So I wanted to talk about Modern Man in Search of a Soul by Carl Jung. And I wanted to start off with a quote from the chapter entitled The Spiritual Problem of Modern Man and I'll sort of use that as my launching pad. So, I must say that the man we call modern, the man who is aware of the immediate present, is by no means the average man. He is rather the man who stands upon a peak or at the very edge of the world, the abyss of the future before him, above him the heavens and below him the whole of mankind, with a history that disappears in primeval mists. The modern man, or let us say again, the man of the immediate present, is rarely met with. There are few who live up to the name, for they must be conscious to a superlative degree, since to be wholly present means to be fully conscious of one's existence as a man, it requires the most intensive and extensive consciousness with a minimum of unconsciousness. It must be clearly understood that the mere fact of living in the present does not make a modern man, for in that case everyone at present alive would be so. He alone is modern who is fully conscious of the present. So, wow. You know. So... I think this idea is important because we're at a very strange time in human history. I believe, personally, and I could be wrong because my view is obviously narrow and limited, that we're at the precipice of change, it seems, in the Western world and in the world in general, where the old structures of our civilization have failed in some way or are in the process of failing or rather than failed are just rusted and old and aren't you know maybe serving us as they have in the past and people are really desperate for change and we don't know what that change is going to be and it's really important to have a sense of our time and proceed into the future confidently and in a way that will lead to a better future, in a way that will lead to a better world while avoiding disaster. So, this idea of the modern man, which uh, I've written a little bit about lately and has really, really been something I've been playing around with, is the idea, is the idea of someone who is fully in line with the present. Not just in, in an experiential sense, not just in the sense of their own experience and, and, and uh, you know, their own, their own state of perception, but in the sense of being aligned with the modern time, being connected with the world, and those things go hand in hand, being connected with yourself and being connected with the world. So the modern man is the link between the past and the future, between the dead past, our history, our parents, everything that's come to pass, and then the unknown future, which is what is going to happen, what is inevitably going to happen, but we, poss we can't possibly predict. So the modern man is the link between the past and the future because they are most in line with the present, not just their own experience, but the, the, the world. And, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this lately, and what it actually means to be a modern person and what it means to be connected in the sense. And I feel that it's deeply important to have this sense if we are going to contribute to the existence of a, of a new world or as we move forward into the new world. So what does it take to, to truly be a modern person? Well, you know, in the Jungian sense, I would say it means looking at your shadow side, acknowledging the aspects of your personality that you could do without acknowledging, um, inquiring into yourself and knowing yourself to know others, the deeper sense you have of who you are, in my experience, the better sense you'll have of what's going on around you and what's going on in the world. So. 
I'm concerned as a young person. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't know how to contribute to the existence of a better world, playing my, playing my part, doing my part to, you know, participate in this, this cultural movement forward. And I find myself kind of battling between upholding the structures of civilization, fighting to maintain or uh, acknowledge the value of, you know, the underlying axioms of Western culture and um, being open to newness, being open to new, you know, sociological ideas that uh, people in my generation are, are, are generally enthused by. So it's this weird balance, I guess, and I think that that's what Jordan Peterson is talking about when he's saying, you know, the order between, the, the balance between order and chaos, you know, trying to maintain the structure while trying to change the aspects of it that, that need changing. And I think the best way to do that is to look at yourself as the example of that. You know, what things do you need to change about yourself and what things do you need to acknowledge and, and maintain about yourself? You know, what's the dead wood that you need burning off of your personality in order to optimize yourself as a human being? So, you know, that's the general idea. The modern person is connected to their time, connected to themselves, and is, through their own experience, through their own existence, contributing to a better world, and um, acting as the link between the past and the future. And it's interesting because Carl Jung, you know, in that chapter goes on to talk about how the modern person is proficient, they're capable, they have to utilize the, the strengths of the past or, uh, you know, acknowledge the, the, the value and, and understand the past if they're going to look beyond it, if they're going to transcend it and move into the unknown future, which, you know, most people look at, at you know, you know, identify the future, or try to predict the future in terms of the past, but that's always impossible because there's always going to be some element of the future that wasn't incorporated in the past, you know, that we couldn't possibly predict based on the past. So it's a new world. We're moving into a new world. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the future is going to look like. We don't know whether it's going to be good or bad. So my suggestion, and I would say, you know, Carl Jung's suggestion as well, is to acknowledge the aspects of your personality that, that you could do without acknowledging that the scary parts of, of your psyche, of your soul, and being as in tune with, you know, your shadow side as possible, being as in tune with yourself as possible, and thereby um, having a deeper sense of what's going on around you and understanding how to act, because actions are essentially what, what defines who we are, not what we think of ourselves. So subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff like this, posting other content. Uh, I'm just curious and, and interested in the world and myself and what's going to happen and, you know, uh, message me and, and, and uh, comment questions and, and whatever you whatever you happen to think of this I'd, I'd be happy to engage and uh, yeah cheers